Fatima in the house. Look here, he is risen. Magia, Swama, Mandibe, Oni, Bessie, Lisa, Gure, Do we know it? Can we take it? Everybody in this Lord, lift your voice and say, Maria. Kimati Akoyana We're here to celebrate the blood Kimati Akoyana Kimati Kimati Akoyana Are you ready to celebrate with me? Kimati Akoyana Kimati Akunyana the blood of Jesus in this house? Do we have people that are free in this house because of the blood of Jesus? Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus! We're going to celebrate a little. Que 
You may live. He was boost so you can have the freedom. He went through it all so you don't have to. You ought to praise him. You ought to worship him. You ought to acknowledge him. You ought to glorify him. You're not doing it for the bishop. You're not doing it for anybody else. You are doing it because you know where he took you from. You know that if it wasn't for the blood, we would be talking a different conversation, you and I today. You know that he saved you from the deep mighty clay. You know that he rescued you from nothing. When everyone rejects you, he still chooses you. When everyone blue ticks you, he still chooses you. I'm talking about a savior, a redeemer. And he's here tonight. Give me those strings. He's here tonight. As we celebrate him, somebody tonight will leave with their breakthrough. Somebody tonight will leave with their healing. Something they've been crying about for so long. Today is the last day because he's here tonight. Because he's here tonight. You are here. Moving in the midst. We worship you. We worship you. You are here, touching every heart, transforming every life, healing every sickness. You are here, performing a miracle, healing every stubborn disease. Moving in our midst, we worship you. We worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. We worship you, God. We are. 
maker. We say you are way maker, way maker, way maker, way maker. Call him way maker, 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 miracle work, you move mountains, you're a with a keyboard. Lift your voice and say, why make a miracle work? Miracle work. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. Give us some keyboard, please, please lift that volume up. Ba -ba thank you, thank you. Ba -ba ba -ba Let's call on you tonight.
God is in this place. Oh yes. And I don't want you to miss him. I want you to open up your heart right now and receive the love that he gives out for us. Somebody say, Oh, I love him. Oh, I love him. Oh, I love him. He's my mighty team. He's my re, my redeemer. Come on, love him tonight. Say, oh.
If it wasn't for him, the Bible in the book Psalm says, if it wasn't for God, where would I be? Thank you, Jesus. Somebody lift your hands right now and just acknowledge your father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
May God bless you. May God bless you. May God keep you. May He shine His face towards you and your family. May your appointment with Him tonight work out for your good. May this appointment not go in vain. May He set you apart tonight. The Bible says Paul and Silas midnight were praying and worshipping. And the Bible says as they were worshipping, prison doors fell open. I pray that as you worship tonight, may your doors fall open. May your chains break. I pray that may your bondages come free. I pray that every sickness of yours will be healed. I pray that every stubborn situation in your life will come to pass. As you worship tonight, may God come through for you. Thank you, Jesus. Chapela Jesu Mato. Chapela Jesu Mato. Udu chisi sabo wosh. Ha chiki nyeke selo. Your situation is nothing to him. Your addictions are nothing to him. Your complaints are nothing to him. He's still sitting on the throne. He's the king of glory. He is what he says he is, and he remains on his word. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. My name is Matema, and and I am so honored to be here tonight. It is such an honor. I was asking if I'm out of time or I can squeeze. My, my boss says I'm a scared of the stage. But you know what? Can we just do this? Just the verse. Just the verse. It says, you know the song? You know the song? Can we just do it? We'll do it tomorrow, ne? We'll do it tomorrow, ne? But just the verse, it says, For I have good plans for you. Plans to help you. Not plans to make you finish. Trust in me, I'll make your way. He says, I don't ever count your mistakes. I forgive you for all your sin. I am the great I am. Just trust in me, I'll make your way. He says, even in my darkest shade. Lord, you were still my light, the way, the truth, the life. I trust you will make your way. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Give God a clap offering this evening. Hallelujah. What a beautiful moment. I'm in awe. Hallelujah. I just want us to lift our hands this evening and just say something sweet to the Holy Spirit. King of glory, we adore you. King of glory, we bless you. King of glory, we adore you, O oh God. We worship you, mighty Redeemer. We reverence your presence, O oh God. We reverence your presence, King of glory. Have your way in this place, O oh God. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, King of kings. And I will now be silent. I will Worship you 
as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Lord, and I will, I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long as I am breathing. I will always worship you. Father, I will, I will not be silent, for I will always worship you as long as Take my place. 
I will worship you, Jesus. I will worship my King, and I will not be. I will. I will. Our hearts pour unto you, O God. Always. Oh, as long as I am.
another day to be in the house of the Lord. Come on, keep on putting your hands together all over the building. Come on, can I hear you give him praise? Can I hear you give him honor, majesty, and power? It all belongs to him. Come on, hallelujah, ministries in an arsenal. Blessed be the name of the one who comes. In the name of the Lord, hallelujah. If anybody is seated right now, I want them to rise on their feet, please. This is not just any service. Today, we are kick-starting our three-day Easter healing and deliverance conference. Put your hands together for the Lord. We are all here because of the finished work of the cross. If I were you, I would put my hands together and give him praise like there's no tomorrow. On site and online. Somebody make a Holy Ghost crazy noise. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we thank you. You are more than welcome this evening as we are starting our three-day Easter Healing and Deliverance Conference. And I just want to make an announcement that somebody is about to encounter the one that went on the cross for him or for her. I say you are about to encounter the one that went on the cross for you. The one that said yes when God called upon the one that will go for us. Pastor Alet, what an opportunity and what a moment to be in the presence of the Lord in Hallelujah Ministries International. I can echo that, my bishop. What a time to be alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless I do not know if you sense what we are Lord. sensing. Hallelujah. Yeshua Amashia, the Lord Almighty, Elohim, Adonai, the King of Glory, the one who died on the cross for you, the one who paid the price for you, the one who calls you, my beloved, is yours, and you are his, in the mighty name of Jesus. If I was you, if I were you, I would celebrate the Lord Amen. the more. Hallelujah. Make some noise for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make some noise for the King of glory. Hallelujah. Let the enemy wonder what is happening there. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I would like to... Welcome all of you. I would like to celebrate the Lord Almighty for what he's doing. Thank the Lord. In your time of prayer, whenever you are sitting, thank the Lord for what he has done. That's right. And I would like my bishop to take this opportunity, hallelujah, to give a standing ovation to our men of God. <laughs> hallelujah. Our apostle. Hallelujah. Beloved, to, today I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like sharing him with you. That's why I say our man of God. <laughs> Don't let me go and say my father. Hallelujah. My Moses. You can still clap your hands. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for his life. We thank the Lord for his obedience to the call of God. The word of God say, to whom honor is due, give double the honor. We are giving to our men of God tonight double the honor. And if your honor is just your hands, clap them more for our men of God. Apostle Alf Lukau, your Moses, my Moses, the man who stands with you, even when you cannot, hallelujah. We thank the Lord for his life. 
We thank the Lord for everything that concerns him. Amen. We bless the Lord for you, Daddy. We love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands together for your man of God. His grace, yeah. Apostle of Lokal, my father. But allow me as well, with the same joy and the same enthusiasm, and even with more noise, to acknowledge right here the presence of the First Lady of Hallelujah Ministries International. The only rose in the garden of our ministry. My inspiration. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Bishop Celeste Lucal. Mommy, we just want to take a moment and just love on you tonight. Amen. This is the only moment where I wish I was more Bishop J inclined because nobody does it better than her. But the same love emanates from our hearts and we just want to tell you, Kamata Bizu Mama. Put your hands together and give the Lord a praise Amen. for the woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to welcome you. May you have your seat. Hallelujah. Those who are here for the very, 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 very first time, we want to extend a warm welcome to you. We say tonight is your night. And in saying that, we would like to invite you to stand. Hallelujah. We would like to invite you to stand or to show off by a show of hands to tell us that you are new in this place. Hallelujah. Wow. wow. You are welcome. Wow. Wow. We thank the Lord for you. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for you. My bishop, why won't, won't you also welcome those online? Absolutely, Hallelujah. woman of God. I will do just that. I just want to let our first time uh, visitors, yes. those on site, yes. to know that there's a... Uh, an usher that will come to you just to be able to take your details, which are extremely important unto us. We want to remain in contact with you and see in any, you know, way we can help you either to come and become a family, a part of the family of Hallelujah Ministries International, or just to be able to extend a hand of assistance and compassion towards you. But we also want to take the time to welcome those who are on site. You are on our different social media platforms, on Instagram, IGTV, we welcome you. You are on Facebook, we welcome you. Can we put our hands together for those online? Yes, on Twitter, we welcome you. On YouTube as well, we welcome you. And of course, if you are on Hallelujah Ministries International TV, the Christian channel with a difference, we also welcome you. Get ready. Something awesome is about to take place in Jesus' mighty name. It's now time for the announcements. God bless. Pastor of Lukau, live daily for the rise of the prophetic voice, where the man of God goes deeper into the word of God from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central African time. This will exclude Fridays and Sundays. Pastor of Lukau will also be live daily. This will be Let's Pray, a powerful moment of prayer with Pastor of Lukau from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central African time. You can follow our man of God on his Facebook page, Alf Lukau. On Instagram, still Alf Lukau. And on Twitter, the handle is at Alf Lukau. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pastor Alf Lukau. Don't forget to click on the bell for notifications on our live services and new videos. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau on these following TV stations. Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting both online and on Sky Channel 589 every Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. Pastor of Lukau is now on Soweto TV, channel 251, every Sunday evenings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet, airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. Our service times are as follows. We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. 
you are invited to come and fellowship with us every Sunday. Join us for our morning glory service, which starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m., followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m., and lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Hallelujah Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home cells held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home cell, please either call the office or go to the home cell desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Well, the time has come again. Time for us to be equipped by God. Time to learn. Time to be able to strive as the Lord empowers us with His Word. Join me for the Prophetic Training School, Friday, the 5th of the 5th, 2023, to Saturday, the 6th. It shall be a moment of glory and power. You need to be trained in what is the greatest secret ever told, what is to be decoded in the Scriptures. I'm believing God that will change you, transform you. I'm believing God for change and transformation to come your way. Through His Word, we stand. Through His Word, we strive. Through His Word, we make the impact that the Lord has designed in heaven to happen through us in this generation. Go to www.hallelujahministries.com. Register now. You need to register. Make sure that you empower yourself by taking this step. Make this effort. I promise you, your life will never be the same again. Until then, stay strong. Shalom. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alleluia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone, or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser. Type in www.alleluiaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving, where you will find our three different payment options. Namely, PayPal, NetBank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option Donate with PayPal or Donate with Credit Card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information and finally click on Donate Now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692. Branch code 197005. Swift code NEDSZAJJ. Use your name and surname as reference or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation, or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options, and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. Beloved, it is time for our offering. Somebody make a Holy Ghost noise in the house of the Lord. If I were you, I'd jump on my feet, for this is the day that you and I will rejoice, for the Lord God has made this day. Somebody give Jesus a mighty clap offering of praise. As we commemorate this glorious day of our redemption, I think we can make a louder noise to give Jesus the honor. We give Jesus the praise. We 
give Jesus what he deserves for he has redeemed you. He has redeemed me. He has set you free. Somebody greet here the Holy Spirit. Just halal here, Holy Ghost. Somebody welcome the presence of God. How many of you are excited this evening that we are here? Thousands of people all across this auditorium. This is a sign that God is at work indeed. Across the globe, we are coming together. All in the name of Jesus, giving thanks and giving praise for what he has done on the cross. How many of you know that there was an exchange that took place on the cross. There was a trade that took place on the cross. He took your sickness and he took it upon himself and he gave you some health. He took your poverty and he gave it you the wealth. He took everything that the enemy wanted to give you. He took it upon himself and the Bible says he willingly did so. So can you give honor to the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ tonight give him praise give him praise give him praise he's worthy to be adored he's worthy to be glorified he's worthy to be exalted there is no God like Jehovah he is the great I am he is the lily of the valley his love for you is amazing put your hands together and celebrate the person of the Holy Ghost this night celebrate him it's always good to come in the presence of God and acknowledging that he is Lord I want to give honor to my spiritual father the great apostle Elf Lukau won't you join me just to to celebrate Jesus for this great gift to the body of Christ today we celebrate and we stand because a man of God you may keep clapping our man of God is pushing through towards the things of God, ensuring that you and I may stand. He lives on his knees so that we may stand. Men of God, I love you. I honor you. I kiss the ground you walk on. You are just the example of examples. I see Christ in you, a man of God who lives a sacrificial life, a man of God who loves unconditionally, who never sees the fault in your children's eye. Tonight, we love you. Somebody put your hands together for the guardian of this altar, the general overseer of Alleluia Ministries International, the only man that Jesus appeared to, to give this vision to. Today, we are standing strong all across the globe honoring the gift of God in our house. Celebrate with me one more time. I want to give God honor as well for our spiritual mother. Celebrate the Lord for Bishop Celeste. Look how Mama Celeste, you are an incredible icon. You are just something else. A woman that lives on your knees. A woman with such a great teachable spirit who loves the Holy Spirit, who loves her husband, who loves her family, and who loves her extended spiritual family. We love you Bishop Celeste. Today we stand and we say you are blessed amongst women. The Lord has taken you out of the crowd. Don't be jealous. Clap for your mother. It's not your time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We love you. Your children are blessed. Your husband is blessed. We celebrate you across the globe. You are one of a kind. I honor you and I emulate and I want to be just like you. You can now put your hands together for the IEC, the International Executive Council. Put your hands together for every pastor, every minister, every disciple. We are in the mood of celebration. You and I have been freed. Freed from the claws of Satan. It's enough reason to celebrate God. Well, I'm here for a very short assignment. You may be seated in the house of God. Psalm 107 and verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he has redeemed 
from the hand of the enemy. Speaking and referring to our Lord Jesus Christ. See yourself as a bird with on the inside of a cage. And I know when I came to AMI, this is the example the man of God used to explain to me what redemption meant. And he told me back to um, on a marketplace where men from all over came to buy birds. And um, one of the gentlemen came to buy a bird in a cage. But what he did with that bird, he did not go home with it. He opened the cage and he allowed the bird to fly. That is what Jesus Christ came to do. He came to set you and I free. He took us from the pit of hell. He took us from the claws of Satan. He took us out of cages. Some people are under the oceans, locked up in cages, but Jesus Christ exchanged that cage and he took it on the cross and today we celebrate our freedom. I want you to take out a redemption offering. An offering that symbolizes your love back unto Him. He died for you and I with a love that no man can ever have for me or have for you. I want you to take out your offering at this time. And lift it before the Lord. As I'm going to pray, I want to see your hand up. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Father, even our viewers, oh God, all across the globe, on Facebook, on YouTube, on AMI TV, on Instagram, sons and daughters across the globe. Lord, as we lift our offering, those across will be signing us online, will be swiping our cards. Father, I pray, Lord, that you bless every hand that give. Lord, those connected to them, oh God, bless them in Jesus' mighty name. And the church of God says the loudest, amen. Put your hands together for Jesus.
spoken word you were singing over me you've been so so good to me for i take a breath you breathe your life for me You've been so, so kind to me. All oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leads a 99. I couldn't hurt it. I don't deserve it till you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no I'm hearing Jesus this. Name. I'm hearing this. I'm hearing this. I will do again. I will do it today. I will do again. I will do it today. I will do again. Jesus. I will name. do it today. Lord. Holy Spirit. Mm. I am seeing a young man. You you just like you are dressed in black. Your name is Smut. You're married to a young woman whose name is Chantal. You have studied in the, the University of Johannesburg, UJ. I don't. Where, where, where is he? All right. Glory to Jesus. All right. What's your name? Smart. Your name is Smart. Yes. Everybody lift your hands, lift your hands. 
la soto kopo shia bari bekanta jesus jesus bashere bekanta restoration receive it restoration i receive it in jesus name amen oh wow is that you yes my name is smart smart yes smart. are you married yes you know Chantel, right? Yes, to Chantel. You're married to Chantel. Yes. But I hear this. God is saying he will do again, and he will do now. What I see, because of the winds that has been blowing your way, you're literally surviving, working here and there. You lost your job some time back. I lost my job in 2018. I was working for a company called DHL Global Forwarding. I was retrenched. You were working for DHL? Yes. You lost your job there? Yes. You were retrenched? Yes, I was uh, retrenched. I was working there as a senior effort controller. I'm into shipping. You are into shipping? Yes. You were a senior? Air freight controller. Oh, air freight. Yes. In exports. Yes, in exports. That's correct, Papa. All oh, right. Yeah. In export. Air yes. freight controller. Yes. In you were a senior air freight export controller. Mm. And you lost your job. Yes, I lost my job. I lost everything. I lost my cars. I lost, I lost my house. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Remember him, oh God. You lost everything. Your yes. cars. My house. Your house, yes. A senior effort controller, DHL. DHL, yes. Basere mm. Bekonto. I see you studied UJ, God said UJ. That's correct, man of In God. logistics, right? Yes, yes, in logistics. I've got a degree in supply chain. You have a degree in, yes, supply in logistics chain. and supply chain. Don't cry, don't, don't cry. It's over today. I wipe away these tears. Oh, God. It's okay. Oh, God. Something good is about to happen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The young man, he has a degree. He has been working, lost his job, mm. lost his cars, lost his house. He's married, and the wife is one side because he cannot support the wife, and he's trying to manage. He's young and intelligent. His name is Smart. Mm. I believe he's smart. Oh, yes. Mm. Switch your hands, Lord. Now, look. There'll be a before and after. Receive it. I receive. This is coming for you because you have a lot of responsibilities. Yes. That's very responsibilities true. in your own marriage and children. And responsibilities, it's like you used to be three. Three in the family, now two. It's like one is gone. And God is saying, are you a twin or do you, do you have a twin in your family? Yeah, I'm a twin. Uh, I lost my twin sister in July last year. Um, last year? July, yes, July. You lost July. your twin sister. In July, because we were born on the 6th of August, both of us. So we buried here on the 6th of August. So I don't know what that means. Oh, Jesus. The funeral was on our birthday. So this is, that's the problem that I'm having. I can't get over it. I've got a lot stressing me. What is the church of God? This is a place we sing song and uh, someone demonstrate how eloquent he is and we go home. No, it's a place of God. Yes. Where God does this. This young man is an intelligent man. He has a degree. He worked in uh, a company that is uh, renowned internationally. He had a senior position. Through his hard work, he had a good life. He had cars. He had a house. He lost it all. Now God is meeting him at the point of his need oh in the house of God. Receive it. July. Twins are normally very close. Yes. Twins are very tight, close, naturally. 
There's some twins that are not close, but uh, most twins are very close. And the twin sister was buried on the birthday. They share a birthday, of course. Mm. One side you lost, and this is happening. Now, the prophetic is this. Mm. And the reason the prophetic is, is because of this. If I tell you today that God has chosen you because a bigger, better door is opening for you I, now. Receive Would you believe? It. Yes, I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive, men of God. Is there anybody who can join me in believing God for this? Yes. Stretch your hand. Let's pray. Let's trust God. He called him. He will do it. Smart. Yes, Lord. You are blessed. Whatever the enemy has uh, orchestrated against you, we destroy. I bless you. In the name you. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bring up. Barabasoto. In Jesus' name. Receive it. Jesus. My name is Tendai Matsiba. I stay in Binoni. I started coming in 2013, introduced by Ruth Linda Dube. What my experiences in AMI are amazing. Come to the house of solutions. I was sick. I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything. But the healing that I got, I started seeing that truly this is the house of solution where healing is taking place. The Bible is alive. God directed my footsteps to AMI in 2017 and the experience has just been life changing. Um, this house has taught me how to pray and how to meditate on the word of God. Honestly, I do not know what my life would have been if I had not stepped into Alleluia Ministries International. Come here and experience the love of God. Come and experience God in, the, in this house. There is power in this house. There is anything that you need. My experience here at AMI, it's, it's been good. Uh, I came here as a, I won't say naughty, but I came here as a, you know, a kid who, who doesn't know his path. But when my grandma took me here or brought me here, uh, everything changed. As you can see now, I'm, um, I'm serving as an usher and I'm enjoying it and I'm enjoying letting God into my heart, into my life and let him change me, let him be with me at every step of the way. Everything of mine has been flying and flowing and I'm so blessed to attend AMI. I love my, my pastor, Alpha Cow. I didn't have a house but God just gave me a house. My son was just smoking, and then I was just praying on the altar every day. And then um, I told God that I want my son to stop uh, smoking. And then I, I told my son that one day I will take you with the Spirit of God uh, and go with you to the church. And then what happened? My son just slept and then he didn't even get up that day until I came back from the church. From that day, he was so scared to smoke again. And then he, was, he didn't smoke again anymore. My name is Tabiso Sitini and from Zakane. I would like to shout out to the, to the church like for everything they've done for me. I watched it from TV and my parents suggested that we go there, all of us. And we started to get used to the church and we started to see the blessings and miracles that happened. It changed my life also as a schooler in school and I used to have a little bit of problems at school and now everything is all well. My daughter who is in grade 12 had a serious challenge. She had an attack at school and she almost went crazy. I would say crazy because that's what I saw at the time. It was on a Thursday and I knew that nothing will help my child. I had to wait. I didn't know about the Friday service then. I had to wait until Sunday. I had to come here and I didn't even know the way. I had to find out the address and I knew that this is the only place when my daughter would be fine. We were helped a lot in the church and later sent to the, the 
a pastor, I forgot the surname, who prayed for her. She prayed for her and it was tears all the way. But I'm happy to tell you all that my daughter is fine, is back at school. She's even had the dream about the Sangoma lady or rather girl in the school that was attacking her in a dream she said i don't know why i even tried you now i'm in serious problems i just want to tell you that uh, hallelujah ministries is the place to be they serve the living god they are for god all the way my name is hermela kebrets adik this is my brother christian and my mother Tsagi. Uh, we come from ethiopia we started attending hallelujah ministries 2019 we saw it on YouTube and then we just felt a, like a connection to the altar. M my mother was involved in a terrible accident, so was my dad. But as soon as we started coming here, everything started getting better. We, we've connected to the altar and we love our father, our Flukal. So I would, like, I would like to say that this is a really good church. I'm inviting you to come to Alleluia Ministries. Come fellowship with us. You will grow in fellowshipping with others. You are growing in reading the word because we have home sales every Wednesday or any day that you may choose. We, we fellowship together to grow in the things of God. So I'd like to invite everyone, do not stay home. It is an instruction to come to the house of the Lord and fellowship. We have to be workers in the house of the Lord. So we cannot do that when we are staying at home. So I'm inviting everyone, come to church and fellowship with others. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arv Lukau on AMI-TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMI-TV.com. You can follow Pastor Arv Lukau on all social media platforms at Arv Lukau. Hallelujah. May we all rise in the presence of the Most High God.
Father called to us, oh, isn't this to come? Jesus, yes, Jesus. Whoa, and in you I trust, my love is in your hands. Oh, yeah, Jesus. You are the miracle working God.
like a Holy Ghost noise.
Jesus' name. Amen. I got to curl down and flow very quickly. Certain things that have happened to me that I want to share something specifically that happened the day that is known yesterday. I had a conversation with a son of mine and he shared with me what was happening and for some reason I said, son, I'm not going anywhere. I'll remain praying. I'm going to the cave. I'll shake the face of God. At that moment, my precious wife decided to move out. Jesus. And there was an encounter that I will share with you. Something beautiful. Glory to Jesus. Direction. Mm. Hallelujah. So I baptize you and I leave it for later on. Hallelujah. I want to welcome those of you from around the world who are connected. It is Easter, Good Friday, and we thank God for all that He said. Hallelujah. Shalom to you. Shalom, man of God. If you are here, you traveled to be in the service. Knowing that there is no IVP, but that you took a flight from America, from Europe, from a different part of Africa, will you wave to me? Look at that. Glory to Jesus. Somebody celebrate Jesus. God bless you. My precious daughter, Eliane, will spend some time. The Lord bless you. Love you dearly. While you remain standing, tomorrow we begin the first class of the encounter, pre-encounter that I will be leading. Hallelujah. It is outstanding that this encounter class begins during Easter. Wow. So those of you who are registered to be here, please be here. And those who have uh, not registered and uh, you kept on calling and said, I am supposed to I miss it today right here in the corridor of uh, the lobby as you enter from this side of the pulpit on my left. There are tables there, go and register. I confirm I'll be giving the classes. Glory to Jesus. The prophetic training school is a moment, a call, a convocation for those who says yes to the call of God. Be part of those. There are thousands of you already watching online. Please understand that this is an online teaching. We will spend the entire day of the 5th of May and the 6th of May together around the Word of God. I am trusting God that what He said about revolution will happen. I receive it. In the it. church, and that includes you. Please go to www.alleluiaministries.com and register, be part of it. Hallelujah. Amen. Easter began as my precious son and daughter stood here and spoke about Easter. That is the Adouyas. Glory to Jesus. It is the first day tomorrow. Will I have the second day, same time, right here? Will we just flow in the presence of God? Amen. I want you to come with your family and let us spend some precious time in the presence of God. On Sunday, I announce the blowing of the shofar. Glory Announcing to victory Jesus. in your life. I will come and will blow the shofar. And also on Sunday, this coming Sunday, today is from today. Will I have Holy Communion sealing the Easter in our lives in Jesus' name? Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are, family, may the Lord God bless you. May the grace of God be your portion. I receive it. May God do something today that signifies in the spiritual realm that you are free from the curses of yesterday. That the blessings of this day. Through Jesus Christ, is death on the cross are sealed in your life. I receive it. I prophesy today, you are under the sound of my voice that something big will happen to you I in the name of Jesus. I receive it. May the Lord 
touch you and may God do for you what only he can do. I come to one till seven. May it be so. One, two, three, four, I five, receive six, it. seven. In Jesus' name. Amen. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated in the presence of God if you can. Golgotha. The theme of this first engagement on this Good Friday. Golgotha. The skull. Golgotha. Calvary. Golgotha. Jesus. The altar. Mm. Luke chapter 23, verse 32. And verse 33, there were also two other criminals led with him to be put to death. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, Golgotha, the skull, that place, the Bible said they were, they, they crucified him. They crucify him. Mm. And the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Jesus Christ did not come on earth for himself. He was born to die. His death was not a defeat. Amen. It was heavenly permitted and orchestrated. Willingly, Jesus Christ accepted the cross. The Bible presents him as the Lamb of God. Mm. Through the teachings of the Word, we understand that the Lamb was for sacrifice. Yes. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus. And it is spoken of him that whoever believes in him shall not perish. Sin brought death. Not the sin of your wrong behavior, but the sin of the choice of mankind through this one couple, mm. Adam and Eve. They chose wrong. They went against the set laws of God. They brought sin in. It is revealed in Romans that the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. The produce of sin, the result of sin, the reward of sin is death. Every being from the loins of Adam and Eve came from a foreign, fallen nature because of that sin. It is like the virus of sin had destroyed man from inside. Irrespective of where you are born, how big, how tall you may be, sin is found in every being. This is the reason why it is said all have seen mm. and have fallen short of the glory of God. Religion could not help us. Good works could not help us. Because the sin is so embedded in the nature of man that salvation will come only through the intervention of the almighty God. Mm. Isaiah said, a voice has been heard in heaven, who will I send, who will go for us? As redemption was critical to turn around what the devil had subjected man on earth. There was no one in heaven that could save. The chief priest could not save you and I. The good heart of mommy or daddy could not serve the child. No organization has been found faithful and worthy to help and save you. Your goodwill and your qualifications are not enough to get you out. 
we were through the scene of Adam forced to walk on the path that leads us wrong the very nature of man has been corrupted with no effort men think of evil betrayal disloyalty lies manipulation all these are embedded in man simply because the nature of man has been corrupted this is why those who have lived under the sun will agree with me trust in God never on your nature Amen. your nature will shock you right. in heaven and on earth no one was worthy and able to save humanity when I speak about able I'm talking about capacity abilities mm. There was no one who has ability to save but the Lamb of God, Thank you. Jesus Christ. If you understand what he did and how it went about for him to die on the cross of Calvary, you will love him more, you will adore him more, you will worship more. Thank you, Jesus. He said, no one takes his life away. He gives it willingly. Mm. I love thinking of Gethsemane. For there the prayer warrior Jesus Christ engaged in the spiritual realm, dealing with matters in the high dimension, in a high stand. Up was the cup of the price he had to pay. It was so painful. Mm. But let not mine will be done. Jesus Christ understood that without him dying, our flocow will not die. Jesus. Our flocow will be bound to dust. For me to live, for me to stand, for me to be bold, for me to confront the enemy, those with more muscles, more experience than me, Jesus had to die. It's there for us to remove a sin, to rectify what the enemy had brought. It is like in dying, he brought an antidote in my system mm. that spared me of death. Jesus. He died on the cross of Calvary. Mm. But ladies and gentlemen, my dear in the Lord, I want to lead you to a truth that I will bring us to what God in this moment has said to happen to all of us. For this day is not a day to be celebrated just by routine. This is an appointed prophetically set date by the Lord for you to go further. For mm. Across the globe, those of you in your homes, those of you in the church, those of you in groups, hear the voice of God. Mm. There was a place where the sacrifice was to be made. The lamb. There is something you got to know about places. Mm. Good things grow well unless it is in the right place. Mm. If the place is not where it's a in what had to be in harmony. Mm. The sacrifice had to be made in a place. Mm. And the Bible say, the place was called Golgotha. Golgotha, a word which is also translated by the word the skull or calvary mm. a place immediately out of the walls of J jerusalem it was a place of judgment a place of retribution a place set out to punish man Men of the wrongs. The sacrifice had to be made the day. For unless it was made day, it would have lost its meaning. Mm. Because the sacrifice meant 
identification with the sinner so that the sinner may be identified with the Holy God. Jesus. And as a sinner, the sacrifice could not be made inside the city for the city was considered a holy place and anything that was sinful had to be outside. Mm. If for some reason or another, the sacrifice was made in Jerusalem, it would have been spoiled. Oh, Jesus. There is a place, a place of approbation. There is a place, a place selected to meet mm. the difficulties of man. There is a place, mm. a place God set an appointment with humanity. There is a place, a place of exchange. There is a place, a place that is a corridor to heaven. There, there is a place. Only in that place, the sacrifice had to be made and accepted. Yes. There is a place, a place where redemption had to be born. Mm. There could have not been redemption unless it was done out of the city, in the skull, mm. in Golgotha. Mm. There is a place, oh God. a place of power. Power for the city had to be generated right there. For them would have not been light in the city unless in the fall, the power station was established. There is a place, a place where those who look to it draw strength. For just as it was in the time of Israel, when snakes serpent began to bite the children of Israel, that God spoke to his servant Moses and said, put a statue of a snake on the pole the bronze snake. And as anyone beaten will turn to look to that serpent, healing will manifest. There is a place. Mm. There is a place. Jesus. A place of exchange. A place of power. Mm. A place of rectification. Jesus. What kept Adam in bondage? Could not resist in that place. Thank you, Jesus. To defeat what defeated humanity to that point, there is a place. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters of God, today as we celebrate a good Friday, may I please take you to the place? Jesus. Come with me to the place. My God. Come with me to the place. My God. The place of the skull. Mm. Is a place of redemption. Jesus. Is a place of healing and turning I will see Come that. to the place. Is a new river. I will a see new that. Dream. I will Come see to that. the place. The place where God wipes away the tears of men. The place where chains are falling. Come to the place. I will see that. The skull. Calvary. Mm. The place that God the devil by surprise. The place of defeat to turn into a place of victory. The mm. place of pain turn into a place of Hallelujah. The place of test that was turned into a place of testimony. The place of loneliness. God has lifted man. Jesus. Come to the place. The place where humanity meets divinity. Thank you, Lord. There is a place, mm. a place you can go to when doctors cannot help, when lawyers cannot help, Jesus. when institutions of men cannot help. There is a place. Yes. As the one judge and sentenced by men was laid. The Bible said when they got to the place called Golgotha, they 
They crucified him. The place Golgotha is the altar, the supreme altar established in the realms of men where you can meet your God. Jesus. Every spiritual trade that has a meaning was done in that place. Thank you, Jesus. Every great price that man could ever paid was paid in that place. Thank Somebody holla Golgotha. Golgotha. Say Golgotha. Golgotha. The altar, Golgotha. The altar, Golgotha. You gotta understand that unless you understand the altar, the sacrifice has no meaning, mm. is misplaced. If the lamb is killed in a different place than the altar, it's not a sacrifice, it's just a killed lamb. Yes. Mm. Mm. It is a sacrifice because it is laid on the altar. Jesus. Golgotha became a fountain where we all go and drink from. Without Golgotha, there is no tomb at all. Right. The obedience of Jesus was not seen the day of resurrection. The day of resurrection was the reaping harvest. Therefore God also exalted him and gave him a name which is above every name. Jesus. So that at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow, every tongue mm. confess that Jesus is Lord. Oh, Jesus. It was a reward that Jesus was exalted. If the spirit of he who raised Christ mm. from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead, he was alive by the power of the Father. He will raise Christ from the dead. He will mm. also vitalize your mortal body. I it receive it. The reward. Resurrection is the reward. The yes. obedience was the obedience. In the place, Jesus Golgotha is the place. You hear mm. me? When the devil thinks of attacking you, if there is Golgotha, there is blood. If there is blood, he knows that there is no death. If there is no death, he knows he has no power. If he has no power, it means you have hey. authority. And if you have authority, you will kick him out. You will kick him out. Jesus, you will kick, kick him, him out. out. The reason mm. why we have power and we stand and we have power here means we have power. We have power. We, we have, have power. power. See, I have power. I have power. Beyond your height, your background, your education, what you have in your account, you are a child of God. You are bought with a price. You have power. Never underestimate oh, yourself. Jesus. Say, I have power. I have power. Now, that power did not come because of any other thing. That power came because the man Jesus Christ paid the price on the cross of Calvary. The place, Golgotha, the altar. Jesus. Don't mess up with those mm. who have been in Golgotha. My God. Because you see, when he died, he died with us. That's right. The meaning behind water baptism is that we died in him and we raised. Mm. <laughs> you, you understand? Yes, I was in Golgotha. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. Jesus. You cannot die twice. Mm -mm. You hear me? Mm. Cancer can kill you. In the name of Jesus. This is the reason why he say, if you believe in me, you will not die. Yes. Mm. You are born to live in victory because Golgotha took place. I was the altar it. of the Lord where the supreme sacrifice was made. Mm. 
Right there, it became a scene. That's why he had to be out of the city. Oh God. So much so that he said, Hello! Hello! Lama Sabatani! Jesus. Mm. My father, my father, why mm. have you forsaken me? If you understand this, you'll refuse to be dragged in the mud. In the name of Jesus. You will refuse anything but victory. I will say that. is not your portion. Mm -mm. By his stripes. I am healed. In Golgotha. In Jesus. His stripes is not when he was a carpenter. Mm -mm. His trap was not when he was 12 years old in the temple. By his stripes, Golgotha. Yes. The altar. Mm. Not I will be healed. I, I am, am healed. healed. Amen. Divine health is your portion. I will say that. He became poor so that you may be rich. Yes. Golgotha. I will say The place. Mm. He became poor. Not in the house of Lazarus. Mm -mm. In Golgotha. Oh, Jesus. Golgotha. 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 Every diabolical spirit standing against you will fall today. In the name of Jesus. Every evil power of the enemy will fall today. In Jesus' name. The devil is defeated. Yes. Once you understand it, you enforce it. If you do not understand it, he will use ignorance. Yes. Ignorance, passivity, allowed by the devil. You are born to live in victory. I receive it. Stand up wherever you are. Lift your hand and pray. Pray with me. Pray, speak to God. I have something to share with you. Jesus. And I have something to transmit to you. I Wherever you it. are, the grace and the glory, mm. the power of the living God is establishing all that the Lord has said for you Jesus. in the name of Jesus. I will say Ramazolo Bosoto, pray in the Holy Ghost. Speak to him, Jesus. Masherebe Kanta Masherebe Karababoso Serebe Koroboso Jesus Thank you for the cross. Mm. Thank you. My God. Pray the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are at home, speak to God, trust God. That is goodness and his mercy. In this day, we remember the cross. We yes, remember Lord. Golgotha. Yes, Jesus. Where he paid the price for you. Pray that God may do for you what flows from Golgotha. Your freedom, your breakthrough, In the name your of blessing. Jesus. I Your next it. level. I receive it. In the name it. of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sherebe Kanta. Marobo Soto. Lababobo Soto. My altar. Sherebe 
Yerebe Gorobo Shorobo Soto. Lift your hand wherever you are. Uh, we gotta run after time. Uh, as you lift your hands, say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I thank you for Golgotha. I thank you for Golgotha. Jesus. Jesus. You shed your blood. You shed your blood. To set me free. To set me free. I thank you for my deliverance. I thank you for my deliverance. You shed your blood. You shed your blood. To heal my body. To heal my body. I am healed today. I am healed today. So in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sickness. Sickness. Disease. Disease. Leave my body. Leave my body. Divine health is mine. Divine health is mine. So, oh Lord. Oh Lord. You forgave my sins. You forgave my sins. I am holy before God. I am holy before God. Not by my own. Not by my own. But through Golgotha. But through Golgotha. Through the precious blood of Jesus. Through the precious blood of that Jesus. That cleansed my life. That cleansed my life. So, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I am justified today. I am justified today. There is no condemnation. There is no condemnation. For those who are in Christ. For those who are in Christ. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for salvation. I thank you for salvation. For there is no sin in me. For there is no sin there in me. There is no death in me. There is no death in See, me. I am saved. I am saved. By the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I thank you. I thank you. For paying the price for me for paying the price for me in Golgotha in Golgotha you say it is finished you said it is finished you paid the price in full you paid the price in full so today I take authority so today I take authority I conquer my ground I conquer my ground I affirm myself in victory I affirm myself in victory victory is mine. Victory is mine. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand. I pray for you that the victory of God may be established in everything you do. I receive it. That today, in this Good Friday, what did not work before may begin to work in the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I bless you. I bless every agent released by God to take mm. you to the next level. Jesus. I activate everything that God has released in the atmosphere. I receive to it. To propel you to the place of victory. It is well with you. I receive it. You are healed it. in your body. I receive in the name it. Of Jesus. In Jesus' Sickness name. Sickness is not your portion. I receive it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. On the altar called Golgotha, you find your victory. On the altar called Golgotha, your test turn into a testimony. I receive it. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. As you lift your hand, bring in the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Flow in the presence of God. Speak to God. I want to pray for a few people. And I pray for you. I pray for one, I pray for all. I pray for one, I pray for all. I pray for one, I pray for all. May you receive the grace of God. May you receive it in the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Lama Zoto Jesus name. Lama Zoto Koro Bosoto. Receive us. Sherebe Kanta. My daughter, my son, it is always for service. God is saying, never pull your hand from the altar. Now, this is the altar of the call because you are called to serve. You are called for service. Service of ministry. Service of ministry. The Jesus. reason why he has kept you still here is because of that call. The call on the altar. Come here, touch you. In the name of Jesus. Zarababakot. We flow very quickly. You get it, you receive. Mm. Papa, don't go to Venda again for that thing. Papa, don't go to Venda. I'm hearing God saying, going to Venda has opened doors. 
Who was this mama? Your daughter. Where is she? She's staying in Mitterrand. All right. So you came the two of you. You come to church. Yes. Pastor. You came the two of you. Yes, Pastor. You see, mommy, there was an attack in your health. Yes. I see you were even struggling to walk. Yes, Pastor. Not long ago. Yes, Pastor. That attack is because of some spiritual things that have been released. Papa, I say again, the devil is a liar. Yes. No one yes, consulted Bishop. can help. Yes, God Bishop. is the only one who can help. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Bishop. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Bishop. Please come. I want to help you, Papa. Jesus. I want to help you, Mommy. My dear son, my dear daughter, your calling in God is what the enemy is after all mm. the time. In your normal day today, the hand of God will keep on manifesting. But God is saying, forget the pain. Focus on the kingdom. Mm. Focus Jesus. on the kingdom. Yes. Today marks a day of to, to turn around. I see your tears, my daughter. And that says the Lord, cry no more. Oh, Jesus. Cry no more. Thank you, Lord. Be, be behind them. I'm releasing grace and power over you. One, two, three. Receive it. Take it. Take it. Receive it. Dang it. In the Receive it. Dang it. Jesus' name. Lima Zoko Toboshia. Reba Sitter. Mami, it is well. It is well. It is well. You come to church. Is it your first time you've been coming to church before? Yes. All right. It's been Papa, long. did you understand what I say? I heard. You heard me? I heard you. All right. It is well. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Fire on those people. Fire. She's not the only one you have. Yeah. You have two, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm Dr. Hare's mother-in-law. Who's that? Dr. Hare. Dr. Hare. Mother-in-law. Dr. Hare. Brother Connie. Brother Connie. Oh, okay. It's Brother Cornelius. Cornelius. Where, where is Cornelius? Is he here? Down there. Yeah. Let, let me impart something. Is you say is your son-in-law? Come, come here. Come, 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 come here. Come. Oh, Jesus. It's you. Oh, my daughter. Jesus. Is it Easter? Easter hug. <laughs> This is your daughter. Your parents. All right. I just spoke to dad and say, don't go to vendor. Yes, I told him as well. So you know about the vendor story. Yes, Why well, we keep it? Okay. Mommy, there is grace in your heart. Thank you, Jesus. And I say to you, the attacks in you, in your body, because yes. I see you struggling. Yes, sir. And God says, I see the details. Yes. God says, it was... An open door, but it's closed. Mm. Doctor A. Mm. Papa. Jesus. My daughter, what do you want God to do for you and your sister? Very quickly, you have one minute. Papa, permanent jobs, permanent jobs, permanent jobs with big say, salaries. Say when the testimony comes, they, they they know you said it. Say it. What do you want? We want permanent jobs with big one, salaries. Two, Me and my three. sister, and they must save You want permanent jobs. In Jesus' name, stretch your hand. A miracle is happening. It is happening for you too. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. You love Jesus. your wife? Uh, sir. You, you love your wife? Yes, Papa. Too much. Too much? Yes, Papa. All right. May God release too much power. You know too much power? In the name power? of Jesus. Come, come here. Don't be too close to Mama. Come. Take it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus, I release the grace of God over you. Bad. In the name of Jesus, Jesus somebody name. shall receive. I receive it. So what is mine is mine. What is mine is so mine. I take my portion in God. I take my portion in God. Here, Jesus Christ died in this day. This is one of the greatest days to celebrate. Mm. 
Because of that, you will not die before your time. I receive it. Say, I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. Say, I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. I'm, I'm seeing somebody. You, you have two children. Two children. And you are dying. Mm. But God says rectifying it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hear this. I see medication in, uh, in your bag. You have lost weight. You are asking Mbali. See a bonga. Jesus. What will be of them? The pillow is not working. My I am Jesus. in the spirit. Hey. You have only 30 rain. 30 rain. Mm. 10, 10, 5, 2, 2, and 1. My God. Come here, come here. Somebody, Somebody said freedom. Do you know what is happening today? Jesus. Do you know what God is doing? God is enforcing his will in your life. I receive it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. What's your name? My name is Chifaro. Mm. Doctor, come and speak to her. Jesus. Pray. Once you speak, then you report to me. Everybody this I receive from God. Receive. So I receive my miracle. I receive. Check especially this. You check this. You check this. Jesus. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Somebody receive. So I receive what is mine. Glory to Jesus. Somebody. My God. Let us see the money. Hear this. Hear this. This is a sign. Yes. I said this is a sign. That your story has changed. Receive it. Jesus. So tell me about this. What, what is this? So th this is a chest radiograph, Dad, but it's a, it's a normal one. All right. Mm. Healing, 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 healing. Do you know why healing is possible? Yes. It's because Jesus, the Son of the living God, loves you and I. Thank you, Jesus. What no church can do, Jesus can do. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I see her troubled. Troubled by many situations. Health difficulties. Mm. I see her going to the hospital. It's true, Papa. It's true. It's true, Papa. I see her where you admitted. Papa, it's true. Jesus. Uh, you see, <laughs> I, I need you to, to, to find out exactly because a healing is somebody's healing. Somebody receives. You cannot be three months in the hospital unless Papa, there is true. nothing serious. Papa. It has to be serious for you to be admitted. That's right. Because I see December, I see January, I see February Papa, in the hospital. It's true. Papa, it's true. Papa, it's true. What did I say it is? My God. Heal, O oh God. In the name of Stretch Jesus. Stretch your hands toward her. Jesus. She's sick, mm. but the Lord is healing Thank her. Thank you, Jesus. We speak healing, complete healing. In the name of Jesus. Be healed, young Receive woman. Be healed. Your healing. You devil, I command you to get out of her. Get out. Liver, liver, liver. 
stomach ulcer, liver. In the name in Jesus of Jesus. Name. Jesus. Be healed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My God. It is done in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Say, I receive it. I receive it. If your name is Elvis Shawuke, you're a DJ, you are good at it. I want you to come, Elvis. I'm seeing a DJ. Oh, there, right there. Glory to Jesus. Yes. Mr. DJ. Yes, yes, yes. You a DJ? Yes. But things are not working. Yes. I see tears. Look at him. Tears. Yes, man, of course. He's crying because it is tough. Yes. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Call him Jesus. Jesus. Hear this. Help me, Papa. Help me, please. It has been pressure. Nothing is working. Yes. Because even when Kumalo called you for a gig yes. recently, you say I will get 22,000 rand out of it. Three days. Yes, Papa, yes, Papa. Is that true? Yes. But just like that, it disappeared. Yes, you waited, you waited, you waited. Yes. Until I, I received the news that someone was teaching that site. They found someone else. Yes. The Sangoma cannot help, right? Mm. Sangomas cannot help. Yes, I go to two of them. You went to two of them? Yes. Welcome to, them. to the house of God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Now, this is what I'm seeing in the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing him very intelligent, very talented, very talented. Yes. But something in the spiritual reign was done to block him. Oh. Yes. Especially with COVID, oh. everything disappeared. Oh. Yes. To get work has been very difficult. You're asking yourself, even when they call you for a gig. That's what. Oh. It's like your, your story, your blessing is always stolen. This is the reason why you went to see Sangomas. Yes. To find out. Yes. And they told you you must go and seek blessings in the grave of your father. Yes. Yes. That's true, man of God. That's Hear true, me. Man of God. Don't go to the grave of your father. Come with me to Golgotha. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Come with me to Golgotha. Jesus. Golgotha. Somebody have a go. Jesus. My God. Jesus. As I pray for you now, God will turn your story around. Receive you will testify receive. in the name of Jesus. What was blocking you, God will remove. Receive it. My only advice, when you get to the top, I receive. Mm. Do not go loose. Yes. I receive, man of God. Are you hearing me? I am my I know you're handsome, but when they come to you, they want your money, nothing else. Yes. Like now you're broke. Yes. You're not here. Yes. <laughs> yes. When you go up, remember the Lord. Jesus. You keep on going higher. I will, I will Amen. Receive the grace of God. Receive In the name of Jesus. Somebody who died long time ago. Do you know Nlambambi? Nlambambi. You know? Come if you know. Come. I see someone who died long time ago. 
He's like an old man. He's not a witch. He's just a grandfather. Come, meet me in Golgotha. Mm. One, two, three. Hiya! The grace of God. Yes, Lord. Bless you, son. Bless you. If your name is Martin, I'm hearing Martin. Tomorrow is your birthday. Come. You're gonna be free. Martin, the 8th of April. You have a black jacket, Matt. I'm smelling you. Yes, sir. Come here. We can do it differently. Tomorrow is a good day for you. Yes. Tomorrow is your birthday. Yes, yes. I received. Oh, she, he received. <laughs> he received. But there are things that need to be rectified. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, did not die in vain. Amen. No, he did not die in vain. When, when you follow God, you must know what you are following. Yes. You must be determined. Mm. Because you know. I'm not empty. I'm not just in Satan. I'm not just online. You, you must know that Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, yes. died for you. He shed his blood. Mm. HIV cannot defeat you. In the name of Jesus. What used to defeat man and defeated you before cannot defeat you. God has made you stronger. I receive it. The sacrifice is the price. The price reveals the value. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes to discover the value of a thing, seek to know what market is ready to pay for it? My God. Mm. Unless it's worth a million dollars, market will not be willing to pay a million. He would have not died for me if I had no value. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. No matter how many people reject you, how many people undermine you, they say all kinds of things. But hear me, if Jesus Christ accepted the cross in Golgotha mm. is because you matter. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Tomorrow is your birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday, of course. Tomorrow is your birthday. Yes. All right. So I need you and I to pray that you may no longer lose what God brings to you because so far, Everything that God brings to you, you kept on losing it. And the reason why you lose it is because there are doors that are open. One of the doors is drinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I know. But you see, if we will close that door, you will start a new day. Thank you, and Jesus. And what God will bring to you, you will not lose. In Jesus' name. I, I, I see you, you had a car accident some time back, and that was with the car of Jerry. Jerry. I'm hearing Jerry. Yeah, he's my, he's my cousin. He's your cousin? Yes. So you had now to pay with your own car, right? Yes. I had big problems, so I have to replace with my car. It's like you take steps forward and something claims you backward. Exactly. I always try that, but it always, I'm always get back when I try to step forward. I always get back. Whatever I tried, I get failed. All right. They're pulling you. Mm. You hear me? 
I'm a spirit. I'm praying for your freedom. Glory to Jesus. Yeah. I'm being humble. Going about it. At least you say I'm boasting. But I know something. Mm. Which you do know. Here. They're pulling you. You take steps. Something will happen. And will claim you. Your mind is great. You set yourself to fight. And God gives you fighting chances. But somehow, may God punish the devil. In the name of Jesus. I say, may God punish the devil. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands toward him. Yeah. You will always remember what happens today. Tomorrow will be the best birthdays of your life. Buy yourself a cake. Wait. Glory oh, to Jesus. Blessed. I will be thanks and I will thank you, man of Lord. Bless God. He's been me, a... I'm, I'm just an instrument. As you thank me, thank him more. Jesus mm. Christ. I received. Lift your hands. Both your hands. Lord, I pray for his freedom. Oh, Jesus. As I release this word, restore him, restore him, restore him. In the him. name pray. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. May that being never return. In the name, never in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Free in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Leba soyo Ah. Do you look like or you are twins? Yes, it's men of God. You have a twin. Yes, it's true. You have a twin? Yes, my twins. All right, I see you. I, this is what I'm seeing in this man, and I want to pray for him. But I see he's looking and checking, he's thinking, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble here. <laughs> no, you are not in trouble. Golgotha is oh, the place. Golgotha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know that today, whatever the enemy stole from you, is coming back? I receive it. I didn't hear that. I receive it. I did not hear that. I receive it. You will be stronger from today. I receive it. You will do exploit from today. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In, In the, the name, name of Jesus. Now, this is what I'm saying. I'm, I see in him. First, I heard the name of a grandfather. And God said, this man needs freedom. Mm. Freedom. I see his hands. You show me your hands. These hands received a lot. But there is no progress. It is like a, there was a time in 2010, you got a jackpot. You got a lot of money in your hand. Yes, it's true, man of God. What was that? That man I went from Lotto. The time when I played in the Lotto. Hey. So, you, you won Lotto? Yes, miss. How much? It was more than a million. It was wow. A million. Do not say, I will win a lot also. <laughs> God has better for you. Glory to Jesus. Golgotha. Uh -huh. mm. The altar. Thank you, Jesus. A place of turnaround. Mm. I speak prosperity over I your life. I receive it. Prosperity is the will of God. You will march to prosperity deeper and deeper and deeper. In Jesus' name. So shall it be. Amen. So you won so much money. So, so much money. It's true, man of God. And you, you, how did you get the numbers? By, by the day when I was asleep, it was my grandfather who passed away. They come to me, and then it was a dream. And then I saw him. By that time, we were fighting in the family because of the car. You know, sometimes if somebody's passed, 
we used to gathering and do something for him. So by that time I decided I gonna give the cattle to the family and then to kill the cattle. Those, those days we're fighting too much. After that, I come in South Africa. By the time when I come to South Africa, I was declared to take my own of my car and give the family. When I sleep, my grandfather come and they say, place these numbers. If you win, buy this car. I buy it. So your, your grandfather who passed on appeared in your dream? Yes. And gave you a lot of number? Yes, it's true. Very caring grandfather. <laughs> Very tame. <laughs> Some grandfather, they go. You will not hear of them. Go! <laughs> But this grandfather at least gave you numbers. You won a world lotto. And he told you in a dream you'll buy this car. Yes. All right. This is what I heard the grandfather. But you see, your problem started with that. Jealousy had increased. Yes. I see you in jail. Yes, but by that time when I go to prison, I was driving a bus. Okay, so you went to prison? Yes, it's true, man of God. Sure. Uh -huh. You went to prison? Yes. So you are saying that by that time you went to prison, you're trying to tell us what happened, how you ended up in prison, right? So what happened? You were driving a bus? Yeah, I was a bus driver. You are a bus driver, and what happened? After that, some of the, our passengers, they left the pig with the trucks inside of the bus. The time the police went, they cash up in the bus, the passenger, they ran away. And then they arrested the crew driver. So they arrested you as a bus driver? Yes. Is it a cross-border? Yes, it's a cross-border bus. you crossing border? Yes. The South African police stopped you for a just normal check. And as a check, they found drugs in the bag. Yes, it's true. Mr. Though you, you had passengers, the owner of that bag did not show up. He ran away. Yes, they disappeared. But they disappeared. Time. Yes. And they sentenced you. They, they arrested you and they sentenced you. It's true, man of God. For how long? Three years. Now, hear this. The grandfather comes, gives you a lot of number. But they are, do you still have a million? Do you still have a million? The money, is it finished or...? No, it's not finished yet, but by that time I use another man to buy something. You use the money to buy something? Yes, because it was a lot of money. Okay, so, so what did you buy? I buy three buses in Zim. You buy three buses in Zim? Yes, men of God. Where are the buses? They're in Zim. Okay, are they working or they are just parked? Now I already packed it. You packed it? Yes. Why? Because... He's not making money? What is happening? After, after when I'm from prison, I was not happy. What happened? Because while well, less now, I'm not driving or what. I'm still... If, my heart is not feeling well. Well, if, or if I can carry the other passengers, I am still remember that thing that's going to come. You traumatized. Oh, Jesus. Lift your hand. A miracle will happen. I'm, I'm trying to have that. this conversation. This is what you need to know with the prophetic. If God prophetically will locate you, address you in the anointing of the prophetic, come winds or high water, the deposit of the Lord is on you. I receive it. And once you, once you are in the atmosphere of the prophetic, and a word is being released to someone. It may not come directly to you. There are thousands of us here. If everyone has to have a direct prophetic word, we'll not be here, live here uh, after a few weeks. We'll still be here. Once God speaks to one, you can tap into it. Mm. Are you hearing me? Amen. See, I receive my portion. I receive my portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am praying for him today that God may restore him. That the blood of Jesus may cleanse him. Oh. It is clear that he is locked in bondage. You can see it even as I speak to him. But Jesus Christ will do 
Thank you, Lord. For him, what only he can do. Mm. May you too receive it in the name of Jesus. I will receive Switch it. Stretch your hand, pray for him. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Pray for him. Say, I receive. I receive my healing. My healing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Tomorrow I will try to lay hands on as many people as possible. Your healing is in God. Say again, I receive. I receive my healing. My healing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. As you lead your body to Golgotha, mm. may the miracles of God flow in your life in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Say, I receive. I receive. Complete restoration. Complete restoration. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. While you remain standing, and I want all of you to hear what I began saying in the introduction. And I want to do this very carefully, very quickly. This is one of the most important segments on what I believe God is doing in this season. It is something that the Lord has vividly spoken to me. And that this concerns every one of you both on site and online. It is not something planned. It's not something that uh, we all are aware of. I received a call from a son and that's just, just the background of it. And as we are speaking, a very dear son of mine, I said to him, all right, son, this is what we do. I had a few things to do that I counseled when I spoke to him. I said, this is what we'll do based on what we say. I will feel like going to my altar and just agonize on my and just travel in the presence of God. So he went on doing what he had to do. And as an intercessor, my best place is a place of prayer. My precious wife, my lovely Bishop Celeste. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. We were just the two of us. Just the two of us. Uh -huh. Don't be jealous. And the place is huge. <laughs> so she say, I'm going downstairs. In fact, we started the day praying and going to gym together. Oh. Hey! <laughs> and she say, I'm, I'm going out of the house. And I say, oh, well. Now, when I remained in my space there, I felt the presence of angels that I normally feel here and there. Now, angel and angelic beings, without exaggeration, is not news that I present to you because it's my daily bread. Jesus. I, I wish i will be able to say, writing a book and saying, I encountered an angel. I don't know. It's like I said that I encountered A. <laughs> but there are times when I know the messengers are different. Yes. Sometimes I ask myself, in which world do I live? Mm. I say honestly, I feel caught up in two worlds. I really feel. As I was speaking to a son today, I say, there are certain things that I will never be able in my lifetime to share. Because first, I don't think that the world is ready to hear it. And secondly, it's because I, will, I do not have the expressive way to say mm. it. Hear me. If there is a pastor, is a servant of God, someone who went to Bible school, I'm not just that. 
I'm a servant. Yes. yes. Servant. Mm. I don't compete with what people compete with. Yes. I'm just me. Just a little me. Well, you got to read my book after I'm gone. I'll leave you with a bomb. You start figuring me out. But now, I just don't know. You start saying things, uh, why, how, and so forth. Now, I felt a different visitation. Mm. And because I'm used with the atmosphere, I played as usual. Mm. Then I heard, this I say with my hands up, hear the voice and the call of the altar. Hear the voice and the call of the altar. I knew the angels that sometimes in specific areas and times are deployed were there all around the room. I said, but I am already in the mission. Because I understood what the call of the altar was. I had heard the call of this altar. And I was kind of managing it. Because you must always know, this altar has a guardian. That's right. That's right. A guardian of the altar means he's here. Is a chief executive officer here. Uh -huh. So I understand what the altar says. Mm. The demands of the altar. Because an altar is not a platform. It's a spiritual place. Yes. I understood that what the angel was uh, referring to was that on the day of the greatest sacrifice ever, for humanity, for mankind, God wanted our own Golgotha to have the sacrifice on the cross. That we should bring in a sacrifice, an offering on the altar. But my dilemma first, you will notice that that's not really what I emphasize in ministry. And secondly, my dilemma was that God had told me already what he will do with our PMO 7 in 2023. He told me this before we cross to 2023. So my focus is after the 40 days fast, we'll do seven days and I know what he told me about it. Now when I heard the demand of this altar, I'm trying to manage it. And the angel say, the voice and the call of the altar. Do you know that the altar has a voice? Yes, Jesus. Do you know that the altar speaks? Some lives are bound because of diabolical altars that keep on claiming them. Some altars in Bundus or shrine where evil rituals are being made, claim people's marriages, claim people's womb, claims people's forward going, claims people a, a prosperity, claims a family's unity. The altar, this is the reason why you speak back to the altar. Yes. When you destroy an altar, you speak to the altar because the altar speaks. He told me about the voice and he told me, and this is for you, especially you listening to me. He said, the call of the altar. The altar is demanding his calling. Mm. Golgotha demanded Jesus. And uh, to connect to it, it's very important that I say and I put it in your context as we flow in it. It is crucial. That you be able to align with the altar. My son right here, Brice, one of the greatest in his uh, sphere of work, was with me today. And uh, he mentioned something. He said, 
There are people who do not understand and fight what we stand for in the prophetic. And you will hear people say, oh, well, I can't do this because Jesus Christ came already and therefore I do not need to use well. I do not need to use salt. And I taught him something with my son Princess say. The prophetic is expressed from the spiritual realm to the natural realm to, through agent, element that are spiritually symbolic such as Holy Communion. It is the wine you bought, the bread you baked, but symbolically, it is in our sphere what is known as the body of Christ, the blood of the Lamb. Yes. If you understand how these things operate, you will understand how the prophetic operate. When you go into the water of baptism, you say you died with Christ and you rose with him. It is symbolic. Right. So there are little things we do in the atmosphere that has a meaning. Paul said, a woman covered should do so because of angels. What does angel have to do with you covering your head? And he says, it is a mark of authority. Having my photo as your father in the Lord in your house speaks to every devil yes. that you depend on this covenant. Yes. Yes. It is no beauty. Mm -mm. It is spiritual. Yes. Now, if you do not understand the symbolic thing, you say, oh, well, I will put a certain guy who did not, uh, does not pray for you, does not know anything about you. I'll put his face there. Because you don't understand how it works. Right. Why will I have a duke? And the, the apostle in the New Testament, in the New Dispensation says, a woman should have it because of angels, angels, mm. spirit beings that are there to watch. What does a duke have to do? This is not the Old Testament. Mm -mm. In the spiritual realm, this is what happened. I say to him, son, if spiritually in the prophetic, led prophetically, I say led prophetically, the Lord wants me to take swell from my house or from any place and give it to you to solve a problem. I say, go and uh, uh, throw it around your house. That swell will do things that will shock your life. Right. Are you hearing me? Yes. This is how it happens. So God told me, the voice of the altar. And the voice of the altar right now is that just as the meaning of Passover was on the sacrifice, the meaning of Easter is on the sacrifice that you and I in this hour, in this time, in this season of going forward, pressing forward, shall make a sacrifice. My wife came back, my precious Jasmine Celeste. <laughs> she came and I said to her, this is the experience I had just now. She said to me, you know what? The Lord has been speaking to many of us Jesus. about the sacrifice on this day. This Easter. If you had not said it, you will still see many of us coming with our seed. When I walked in and my daughter from Jamaica walked with a seed, mm. I paid attention to her. Jesus. When she came with a seed, I saw dollars or four thousand or something dollars there. The mere fact she came and she rushed. Just as Bishop said, many of us around the world yes. sense already that uh, there is a call on the altar. We got to do something. She became a confirmation. That's why I say, you're not crazy. You're prophetic. Jesus. Mm. Do, do you get it? Jesus. Then I pick up the call and I called Pastor Nelly Lukao. I say, 
please pick up the call. Of course, he did not pick up the call. <laughs> that is Thursday. Things are about to close. I say, Lord, as I do this, I need something. I called Pastor Nelly. She did not pick up the call. I had to speak to the phone. I said, Pastor Nelly, I need you, please. Pick up now. Then I call again. Hello? <laughs> Do you know, Pastor Nelly, that before you picked up the call, I spoke to God and an angel that was part of it probably went to pull your attention to that phone. Jesus. It's all orchestrated. Mm. So she picked up the call and I said to her, this is what the Lord is saying to me. She says, yes. And I said, I need you to give me envelopes. But I don't have time. Today is Thursday. That is yesterday. He said, I'll make it happen. Put your hands together for Pastor Nelly. Glory to Jesus. She made it happen. And she asked me, what do we write on the envelope? I say, this is what the Lord is saying. My altar, my altar, here is my sacrifice. Mm. 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 Somebody say, my altar. My altar. Here is my sacrifice. Here is my sacrifice. So here it is. Jesus. She, the office went very quickly and I made this. My altar. My altar. Mm. Here is my sacrifice. Not my offering. My sacrifice is something that pains me. Yes. My sacrifice is something that shakes me. Mm. Now, in the integrity of this call of mine, I present you this to say, the altar is making a demand because there is something that God wants to manifest. Mm. And I want to give you this. You around the world, as you accept this, you may not have a physical envelope from my hand. But remember, I spoke about symbolic. And symbolic, I say, if you understand this symbolically, it is done prophetically. Mm. I want to do this. I want all of us to sit down. Can I have a few of these envelopes? I will pay attention to this. And I want to stimulate this. Thank you. I want to stimulate this. I want to give you this envelope, but I do not want to give it as making a call. My son, Simba, please stand up. From the United Kingdom, put your hands together. Glory to Jesus. My dear son sends me a message and say, Dad, I'm coming to Johannesburg to present my sacrifice to the altar. Jesus. Oh. Wow. How? Hmm. What Bishop said. Meaning that even if I did not do this, those who are sensitive will do. Came all the way from the United Kingdom. To present a sacrifice from Jamaica, United States of America, with a sacrifice. Now, I want to explain to you, a sacrifice is not a giving. It's a serious giving. Mm. God so loved the world, he gave his only. A sacrifice is that thing that I will stand for you when a normal offering cannot stand for you. Right. A sacrifice is something that uh, you might even regret because it is an offering with a voice that says, don't let me go. Mm. You need me. 
I can solve your rental problem. I can solve your, your eating problem. You need me for your fridge. You need me for your business. A sacrifice is that thing that helps you get to where God wants you to get, but it pains you. Mm. The easy way to understand your sacrifice sometimes is just to remember the last giving. If you ever gave God a certain thing, and as God asks you to make a sacrifice, that is your reference. Right. God will always do more, give you more, and requires more. Mm. Because to who more has been given, more shall be required. required. It's always like that. Now, I'm not asking you, forcing you, I'm not making a call of decision. But I want to make a call to give a framework. This call is not you give so much. Doing that would not be wrong. I'm putting this on the altar. Because the altar demanded it. Mm. My altar, my, my altar, altar, here yes, is my, my sacrifice. sacrifice. It's clearly a communion, a yes. connection. It's you direct with your mm. altar. My altar, my altar, here is my sacrifice. If you are here, you ever gave God a certain amount, I will stimulate and frame by asking you to stand. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how. But even when you stand, it does not mean that you have to give in that. It's just to put it in the frame. Are we together? Mm -hmm. This concerns you wherever you are. You're in Africa, you're in Europe, you're in America. This is your word. This is your call. This is what will keep you in May standing. Amen. This is what will wipe the devil in June. Jesus. And I think that this coupled with your PMO 7, there is no way the enemy can stand. In the name of Jesus. If you have ever in your life gave God a million rand, meaning 50,000, I think, dollars plus, you have ever given God a million, I want you to stand. I want to give you this, not to say that you should give God a million, but I want to give it to you. You have ever given God a million rand, please stand. Glory to Jesus. Please come. Please come. My altar, my altar. Thank you, son. Thank you, woman of God. You ever gave God a million rand? Mm, so you never gave God a million rand? Eh? I see you now. Bless you, my daughter. Glory to Jesus. Here, this. The, the mere fact that you did it before, get ready. A complete turnaround. Jesus. Name. I know things are not as it's supposed to be, but wait, you'll see. And video, catch this. Because you will need this video. Mm. You have always been faithful. May God bless you. Thank Jesus. you. If you have ever given God half a million, which is 25. Remember, I'm not giving it to you to say give God a million. I'm making a reference. Your altar must speak to you yourself. I'm doing my part. You have ever, now, if you have ever given God a million, 50,000, 20,000, or 50,000, 100,000, whatever the case may be, and you are hearing the voice of this altar, write it down. This is what I will do now. This is what will represent my sacrifice this time. Wherever you are, online, you must be part of it. We are more online than we are on site. Yes. If you have ever given God 25,000 before, a year, two, three, $25,000 or half a million rand, can I see you? Tell me you are here. All right, let me pass it very quickly. <laughs> My doctor. Glory to Jesus. Do, do you see? 
Please come if you, you have ever given God 25,000 before. He's a giver. Dr. Lebo is a giver. My precious daughter, all the way from Europe, God bless you and keep serving God. Bless you. You have given God before 25,000. God bless you. $25,000 or more. That, that is uh, about a half a million or so. 25, 26, 27. God bless you, my daughter. God bless you. This is prophetic. While well, my daughter is coming. If you have ever given God 100000 which is about $6,000 or $7,000, uh, please stand up. God bless you. God bless you. You have given God 100000 before. This is a church of givers. My daughter is a good giver. God bless you. Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> Welcome. See my son, my handsome son, very, very handsome and a giver. God bless you. God bless you. Where is my daughter? God bless you and bless her. God bless you, my son. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In the past, you gave God a hundred thousand before. Remember, you, are, you need to measure your sacrifice. It has to be a sacrifice. If you have ever given God 50,000 as a seed, as a sacrifice, as an offering, 50,000 is about $3,000 or something, if I'm not mistaken. Please come. God bless you. God bless you. We are givers. And some of these givings are huge sacrifice. God bless you. My giving has always been an instruction. My big giving. And they have always messed me up. At first. With little... God asked me to give more. I know how to see my account empty because I gave to God. Mm. But I tell you, I have no regret. What God does simply says, you can never outgive God. Amen. Can never. And you must always understand what leaves your pocket will never leave your life. I receive it. God will multiply. I want every one of us who understands the voice of the altar to make a sacrifice. Those I've given envelopes to and those of us have not given directly, I will give you still now. All of us, those of us online, I want us to say, Lord, I'm tapping in it. I'm connecting. My altar, my Golgotha, I present my sacrifice. I will not be here and my altar is loudly speaking and I remain unshaken. Some of you, 
your call is to give far more than you ever gave. Mm -hmm. The standard to know that you have grown is to do beyond what you did. If you do under, the meaning of the sacrifice may be undermined. God has crazy demands every time he gets to do crazy things in your life. Right. If you are here, you say, I need that envelope. I want you to stand up. You want to get this envelope. From me and the pastors, I want you to stand up. And I want you, my pastors, I want you to stand. My concern is that if I have to give to everybody, you will not finish. If you stand, you get your envelope, you sit down. If you don't have it, wait for it. Now, let's let distribute the envelope. I'm speaking while we do so. While we do so, I speak, I say this. Those of you at home, this is the voice of God for this season. Golgotha will be empty if there is no sacrifice. The Passover finds meaning on what the Lord has done through the sacrifice. There must be blood on the door. The Savior came as a sacrifice. While we do this, I want every one of us to be praying. You take this, pray, speak to God. Break the curse of poverty. Break the curse of I don't have. Break the curse of limitations. Break the curse of sickness and disease. Whatever has been undermining you. Oh God. Oh Lord.
Hallelujah. Will you stand up if you can? Every time we do something like this, we should all understand that it concerns us. Those of you out there, this is not just a giving. This is a call from your altar. It has been emphasized in the spiritual realm and in obedience I present you this. Don't take it lightly. Make sure that your altar here receive your sacrifice. On the screen you have ways to send it platform to use if you are not here to send your sacrifice and may the Lord see you Jesus may the Lord see you yes Lord. may the Lord see you in the name of Jesus may the Lord see you I will say that may the Lord see you yes Lord may the Lord see you Jesus Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray, speak to God. If you have an envelope in your hand, pray. Pray over it. Pray, speak to God over it. Lama Soto. It is very significant as you pray. My Jesus. My Jesus. Now. Tomorrow, I will lay hands on as many people as possible. On Sunday, we'll blow the shofar as the Lord declare, announcing victory. We'll have Holy Communion. And we will also collect your sacrifice across the globe. Your vow, your sacrifice. What you are hearing from the altar, you're hearing it inside. You know the amount. You know the shape of the sacrifice. I pray that it may shake you. In the name of Jesus. If it does, it will lead you to your breakthrough. Now, if you are doing this sacrifice at home, lift your hand. If you are doing this sacrifice here, lift the envelope. Lift the envelope if you're doing the sacrifice here. Please don't think too much when you're doing this. Follow your heart not your mind. Sometimes you find contradiction between your head and your heart. Go crazy for God. Heaven will go crazy for you. Mm. Lift your hand at home if you're doing this. And if you are here, may God see you. May God see you. May God see you. May God Jesus. see you. Rabba Soto. May God turn things around for you. I may your that. obedience pave the way to a place, to a place, to a place you have never been. Jesus name. In victory, in power, in healing, in deliverance, in breakthrough, in promotion, in elevation. In Jesus name. La sole mm. Pray, speak to God. Ramasoto. Yes, Jesus. Speak to your sacrifice. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody begin to speak. Speak over your family. Tell the Lord what you expect. As the man of God has said on Sunday, we come in and we give our sacrifice. Those of us who's online in branches, your seed comes to Jerusalem. The banking details is on the screen. Every disciple, every pastor, every minister in any branch across the globe, the call came from this altar. Your sacrifice does not belong in your branch. It belongs on the altar where the call came from. 
Make sure we obey and follow instructions. If there's anything that is not clear, just know that your Father has spoken. Father, in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus, we thank you. Father, we bless you for this sacred time that we had, this holy time in your presence. Thank you for Golgotha. Thank you, Lord, for the exchange that took place on Golgotha. Thank you, Lord, for the redemption, O oh God, that took place. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord, for your unconditional love. Now, under the supreme anointing of my Father, go now in the peace and the uncommon favor of Almighty God. Know that we are meeting right here tomorrow morning. Those of us who have registered for the pre-encounter, if you have not yet registered, to my left, there's desk out there. You still have an opportunity to register. And please know that um, go on www.alleluiaministries.com and register for the prophetic training school of ministry. From the 5th to the 6th, you can register and God will bless you. The Lord bless you. Shalom. We're meeting here tomorrow evening once again at 6 p.m. right here. God bless you. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau.